Hey you welcome back to another Star Made tutorial. My name is Bench and we're here doing logic circuits yet again. In this tutorial we're going to be creating a JK flip-flop. So what's a flip-flop? Basically it's like a switch, it goes up and down, only it's got multiple inputs allowing anyone to trigger the flip-flop and it will trigger from on to off as it gets a signal. Uh, why would we use that instead of using like a, a button like that? Well, you can have multiple buttons all over your ship and be able to trigger the same thing to toggle on and off. So just think of the possibilities. But for now, we'll jump right on in and build this thing. So we're going to grab our OR signal. We're going to place two of them down here. Then we'll grab the NOT signal and just put them next to it. Now you can condense all this, but we're just breaking it up so we can see what we're doing. Again, another OR signal there and there. And then another NOT signal next to them. And then what we'll have is a activation module coming out of each so we can see what we're doing and we'll also chuck one on the sides here. That'll control our looping around. Now the other thing we'll do is we'll chuck a AND signal down here. Um, one thing to note as we get into this that when I first built this with Schema um, we had the ON and OFF backwards so we were thinking that orange was on and blue was off. It's actually the other way around, but this circuit didn't really work the opposite way around. So we're just going to build it like this and then we can invert stuff when we need to invert it. But enough talking like that. What we'll do is we'll start hooking everything up. So we'll go over to our clock from episode 3. We're going to grab our not signal coming out of the whole thing. We're going to hook it up to these first two. We'll then grab those first two, run them into the not gates like so. Then we'll grab those and run them into here and here. Then we'll grab them, run them into the NOT gates as well. Then we'll take those outputs and run them in. So we've just basically done a big long line on either side and they run into everything. Now what we need to do is we need to grab this one up here then we're going to crisscross. So we're going to put it into the OR that's there. And we're also going to put it into the OR that's over here. Then what we're going to do is grab the same on the other side. There. And there. Now finally what we'll do is we'll grab our outputs from all our input buttons. And we're going to run them into both of these here as well. So like that. And like that. So a lot of disco lights going around everywhere. That's good. So what we want to do is we want to hit the clock. So we start the clock. And we want to push a button. What that should do is that should send a pulse through. But at the moment we have to invert a signal. So we'll just hit that. So I hit R on one of the not signals and now it's like so. So now when I come over here. I'll reset those. Push a button. You'll see the whole thing has changed over there. If I push the button again, the whole thing changes again. If I go over to another one, you'll see changes. Other one changes again. So this is really good. It's doing exactly what we want it to do. But what can we use this in a practical sense? Well, over here we've built an airlock and we've got a button on this side. And we've got a button on in the inside, and we've also got a button if we walk our way around on the far side. So what we'll do is we'll select each of those buttons, and what we're going to do is hook them up to one of these. So I'll hook that one up to there. Now I've gone ahead, and the one inside actually comes up just because it's got all these pipes going everywhere. So I've wrapped it around from the inside so we don't have pipes going straight through the middle of everything. So those three are now all hooked up. And now what we can do is set our outputs. So we're going to grab the output block and go over to our airlock. And we're going to hook this door up to it. So there's plexi door here, but you can't see it. Like that. And we'll also hook it up to the light there. So the green light is going to say when it's open. So we'll fly over to the other side. And we want this side to not be open when this particular one is active. So we've got the red here, or inactive. So we'll fly over and we'll do the inverse for the other side. So we'll select the other block, 
We'll fly over here, and now we want this one to cover the red. Now I'm doing it with Plexi Doors at the moment, just because this is one of the dev builds. Uh, we don't have it set up just yet for being able to control the colored lights, but that's obviously something we're working towards. And like that. And that should be all that we need to do to set up. Now you also notice that I've only hooked one switch up to each of these. You could do multiple switches, but you just need to remember to toggle it all the way. So you'll go orange and then blue again. And uh, it's a good, good thing to do, and just so we remember. So now you've seen that, we've pushed that, and the whole thing's closed. Now if we fly around the other side, you'll see we've got the green light and the door's open. If we push the button, it closes again. Push the button again, the whole thing opens. We can go inside and toggle it. And same deal, it closes and opens, and we can come through the other side, and we can close it like so. So that's one of the uses for one of these flip-flops. But there's a whole variety that we'll get into in later episodes. But for now, that's how you build a JK flip-flop. Here in StarMade, my name is Bench, and until next time, enjoy building random stuff. Yeah.